this is going to be one of those if we have to sober up in five minute classes, right? So hopefully you all have your coffee and Advil. Um, because I've been literally thinking about this class for six months. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to um, you know, put across in your minds the idea that you can do this. That's what this class is all about. That you can do the things I'm going to show you. I have a question for everybody first. Now, if you look to the back of the room, these are the people that drank way too much last night that are coming in. Here's the question. Yeah, there's quite a few of you, and you know Dwayne is the last guy. I'm just impressed that Dwayne is here, because rumor has it he wasn't answering his phone this morning. Okay. Who here owns a retail store? Raise your hand, please. Come on, hi. Don't be afraid. Who owns a retail store? Okay. Your name is, sir? Craig Butler. Craig. And Craig is hailing from the territory, from the place, from the country. I don't even know what it is because I'm so intelligent. Of Newfoundland, right? From Newfoundland, which is pretty stinking awesome that he's here, right? Let's give him a hand for him being here. About your store, if you would. What do you sell? What do you What do you have? Uh, at this point, I'm primarily hot dogs. I do sell saunas, uh, swim spas, and now I'm going to buy Do you have any chemicals, anything on shelves, anything like that? Yes, I sell bio here. So bio here. Okay, good. I got a question for you. This is a tough one. Do you have the keys to your store? Can you get in if you want to? Of course. Oh, say of course. It's very interesting. Let's say you. Um, you walked into your store one day, and you saw somebody had uh, thrown some chemicals on the ground. What'd you do? Call chemical. Clean that up. You clean it up. Okay. What if you didn't have any help? What if it was just you in the store? I clean up myself. You clean up yourself. Why would you do that? Does anybody here not have the ability or not have the keys to the retail store? Anybody? Does anybody here not have the ability to arrange the shelves in your store? Are these questions preposterous? Are they almost frivolously stupid? Because, guess what? Most of you all, 99% of you, don't have the keys to your store. Because in 2010 and beyond, your store is right here. You not only can't rearrange what's on the shelves, most of you can't get it in. This is craziness. This is absolute insanity. And for years, owning a business, it bothered me that if I was on my webpage and I saw a simple typo for some reason, what I'd have to do? What do we have to do if there's a typo on our webpage in general? Oh, well, what do we got to do, boss? We gotta call the guys and take care of it for us, don't we? Can you imagine that? You get to the store and it's locked, you gotta call your guy to bring you the keys, and you own the place. Does that make a bit of sense? But small businesses across America, across the world, are doing this exact same thing. All of us are. Hey, believe it or not, Ashley Gill probably didn't even have the keys to his store. That's because Alex hit him. Right? I was playing out. I don't even want to know what you got. All right. So, today, our goal is to give you the keys to your store. And you need to see your store from this point on as your website. This is 
This is your business. Your website is your business. It is the future of your success as a business owner. And I don't care what you do. I don't care what you sell. Whether it's fiberglass, whether it's concrete, whether it's above grounds, whether you go on a side business, it is the key to what you have. Now, in the past, many of us used referrals quite a bit, didn't we, to sell pools, right? Raise your hand if referrals was a big part of your business before. Come on, raise your hand. Now, raise your hand if within the last 18 months, your area of installations has gotten bigger than it was before. Raise your hand if your area has actually grown since the economy went down the pooper. There's a lot of people here whose areas have gotten bigger. And when your area gets bigger, what happens to the new area? Are there referrals there? It's much harder. It used to be that we could go into a neighborhood, we knew everybody had good equity, it might be a brand new neighborhood, right? And if we landed one good job, there was a chance that we could get five more. Tell me if I'm wrong. But now, very, very different. We can't count on referrals to be there. Obviously, referrals is the number one component of your business, if you can, in terms of closing ratios. That is wonderful. Referrals are great, but you can't count on them. If you are dependent on anything other than your website, your website, to bring you business, if you're dependent on it, then you have a problem. And we have to be able to change our websites on a dime. <laughs> Now, I use a company called HubSpot, all right? Everybody write that down. H-U-B-S-P-O-T, HubSpot. Now, what HubSpot is, is they are a company that helps you, number one, to learn about search engine optimization, which is essentially Google knowing that you exist, recognizing that you have a voice, and getting yourself out there more and more and more. Now, HubSpot is a form or has available to us, people that don't know how to do web pages, this thing called a CMS, which stands for Content Management System. Content Management Systems, or CMSs, are taking over the computer world right now as we know it, the design world. More and more are coming out. Has anybody ever heard of WordPress before? That's a blogging platform people blog off of. Some of you are using WordPress. That's a content management system. It's a web design for dummies, is what it is, all right? It used to be I had no control over my website, and I tried to learn design, and I fell short. And I kept trying and trying, and finally, I ran across HubSpot, and that's when everything started to change for me, because they had their own content management system. Now, right here, when you go to our web page, y'all remember our web page from yesterday. Now, the first half of this class is going to be a little bit slow and work with me because it's a little bit technical, all right? But it's going to be well worth it. Remember what I said yesterday, too. If you feel inspired with anything as you listen to these things, please write it down. When you see our webpage, this is what, if you break it out in simplistic terms, we have a banner on the top of the page, and we have, on this particular, on our home page, we have three columns. We have a column that runs down this side, right? We have a large column in the middle, and then we have a column on this side. That's three columns, all right? And if you look at different pages of our site, you'll see that some pages have two columns, some have three. And some have one, they used to have one. All right, now, each one of these things, and this is what I see when I look at my website, you see everything but these little things right here that says edit form or remove. These make up little boxes. This is a little box right here. Those boxes are called modules, modules. And so when you do internet design and with content management systems and good ones, all you're doing is manipulating modules, changing places, all right?